Now, as you know, I don't watch these videos beforehand. Like you, this is just a recap for me, just between us girls. Oh. But Matt, OG mum of the channel, insists that the last episode is a tragedy. <laughs> Stay tuned for that, but for everybody who hasn't been on this whimsical journey, here's a recap. Previously on The Bachelorette. There's no doubt in my mind, it's a 100%. I do want to be with her. Why is everything for Aussies 100%? Have you ever heard them say 50% or 64%? No, it's always full throttle, all in. Do you want cornflakes for breakfast? 100%. You don't want cornflakes 100%. No one does. And Ange is the cornflakes of women. Oh, slag. Carlin's big brother. <laughs> one of the guys said that Carlin isn't here for me and that he's here for his acting career. Dropped a big bombshell. Yes, that is the career he's going for. Oh my God, has Carlin just fooled me? And Carlin's world. I came on here for serious reasons, like I told you. He doesn't think that. Crumbled. I saw all of this before. Now I know how my female cousins feel when they're curled onto the couch in pajamas. Get to the good stuff! I deserve <laughs> something really good. I don't want to be used. You don't want to be used? Edge. Why are you on commercial television? Oh no, just that establishing shot of horses is triggering my post-traumatic stress disorder of going on dates with girlfriends where they say, let's go to the Hunter Valley for the weekend. What's there? Horses. I've seen them before. I just want to stay in my hole. <laughs> I feel like Carlin and I... Uh, as soon as a voice starts, all these beautiful nature shots and then... I did! Carlin <laughs> and I didn't really leave hometowns in a great place. Well, that's a bit of a euphemism for chucking a tantrum on national television because you didn't tell me every aspect of your life in the very brief interactions that we've had. I want to just go home. <laughs> I just don't know if Carlin's here for me or his career. What if this whole thing has been an act? Has the actor been acting this whole time? Answer, no, because he sucks at it. <laughs> All right, so Matt has suggested, as usual, that there is about a minute of good content in this hour-long show, so we're skipping all three dates because, according to him, they are, quote, boring as fuck. And we're going straight to the heartbreak because again, as is tradition on this channel now, we're going to be laughing at someone crying. Having three people I absolutely adore, like, oh, I physically can't imagine making this decision. Dude, even I can imagine you making this decision and I'm not you. You're going to pick Carlin. I'm calling it now. Why? Because he has abs. Ryan, Carlin and Tim. They mean so much to me. You know why people on reality shows always say, oh, these people mean so much to me. I, I just got to be friends with them for life, Harry. And they never are. It's Kentucky Tour for 30-year-olds. It's the same relationship. You're just with them for two weeks straight and you haven't been with anyone for 24 hours straight apart from your family and kids on camp. Why do I love Tim so much? Because you've just got the same memory as a bird and you can't remember hanging out with anyone else. I just have to be a big girl and go in there and just say how I feel in that moment that close. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know if that's how adults make decisions, Ange. Whatever I'm feeling right now! Yeah. Pretty sure that's how toddlers think. <laughs> Oh, two roses, three men. You do the math. I hope that this is just the beginning for us. I am <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Everything about Tim's personality exudes magnificence. Who is he? Is he the second coming of Jesus? Isn't he a tradie? Yeah, I decided to move away from carpentry, getting pretty sick of that, eh? So, uh, went into fire insulation. It's, uh, good to be doing something different, you know? There's three of you here, gentlemen. But Angie has only two roses. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense that Osher has been the host for so many years because he is Tim, but with the power of grooming. Fuck, look at the ball guy. You can tell he read Fifty Shades of Grey and thought, that's going hard. We gave Jamie a lot of flack, mostly because we thought his soul was transferred from one of those Dalmatian firefighter dogs into a firefighter, but he was right. <laughs> I'm getting bad smells from that man. No, he's the opposite of a schmacko, that one. <laughs> Colin. Colin, will you accept this, Rose? I don't want this to be the end. 
I give Angie something the other boys don't. Neat. I just make her laugh. Yeah, how do you get better than Tim? The next tier up from that is Obama. He protects people from fires. He's a tradie. He's got a chill hippie vibe. His only defect, the only reason you prefer Carlin over him is because he's got a wispy bum fluff mustache. You can shave that off. I feel our connection is the strongest out of anyone's. It's meant to be. Yeah, I don't like that ball guy. Anyone that looks like one of those 3D models that students who are studying animation manipulate around in their first term. Mm, just a bit, I don't know, incomplete? <laughs> <laughs> What an ugly crier. <laughs> oh, just give me a minute. No, follow her out. Film her cry. Oh, cutting back to man face shots. You get enough of those in 90s porn. <laughs> what is going on? This is hectic. <laughs> man, I hope Tim replaces Ben Fordham as the host of Ninja Warrior. How much better would he be at that job? He has the perfect vocabulary for it. He knows the word hectic. Oh, that slip was hectic. Oh my God, what a hectic finish. Do you think that every part of the house that they don't film, instead of having flowers, has a fat guy eating donuts? I ran out of flowers to eat. <sighs> there it is, the sound! <sighs> The greatest mystery of The Bachelorette will be, is she making that sound or is there a small midget under her dress that every time she tenses her lips has a harmonica? Mm. I just I felt like I could be, but now I don't know if I can. I feel so sick. Oh no, I'm going to give someone a free limo ride back to the airport. I feel sick. I have put everything on the line. I've opened up to her like I've never opened up to anyone else. What do you reckon opening up for Tim is? Dude, I don't think I've ever told anyone this, but you came down to Guzman and Gomez or Zimbreros. I'm choosing Guzman and Gomez, hey? I feel like my heart rate's through the roof. Holy shit, he looks like the NPC meme and he's dressed in grey. Do you think they did that on purpose? I think they might have. <laughs> That guy went from chill bald Buddhist monk to angry boot camp instructor bald guy in a second. Look at that vein. Sound off! <laughs> Man, is she just gonna be crying for the next 12 minutes? I can't handle it. Yeah, yeah, it's just all crying. Dude, I don't know how I can make this any simpler. Shut up. So hard. It's so hard. <laughs> 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 I love that there was 800,000 people shooting into 30 seconds of <laughs> Fuck, fuck is right Tim, are you regretting getting the rose? I just want her to be happy, that's the main thing oh, Take it like a champ, go human NPC me <laughs> on the head. Mwah, mwah. It's like kissing a peanut. Mwah. I just wish you all the happiness in the world. <laughs> what is this that ball kid from the Matrix that says the trick is to think that the spoon isn't there? All grown up. I'm expecting that he's about to apparate into a bunch of ones and zeros. I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. Oh, I feel heaps harsh saying this, but uh, let me bring you up to date. Dear baby, welcome to Dubville. Population, you. <laughs> oh, that was the worst. Why did I do that? That was the wrong decision. It is insane thinking about how much money must have been generated for Channel 10 when the last 10 minutes of airtime was... <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. I'm fucking idiot. Is everyone watching it? Is, is this going to get any better? Nope. That's the end of the episode. On to the finale. Sorry, I had to change shirts because the lights in here produce so much heat. And so my armpits chucked an ange. And we're going, it's just too much. 
we were going to show some of Tim's date to show you that he's a nice guy, but in the interest of time, we're going to skip that because I realized that every single one of my videos, half of it is me saying, dude, Tim's a legend. Just pick him. Just end it now. Oh, far out. I hope I win. I'm so, I hope, oh, I hope she picks me. So instead, we're going to skip to the end so we can get to the other half of these videos, which is me saying, oh, fuck. Shut up, Ange. <laughs> I just hope it's not goodbye forever. I'll be spewing. Mm, every cutaway shot of Tim always makes me think, yeah, I can see where Ange is coming from. He looks like the hunchback of Notre Dame left to his own devices. I know that I have so much to give, but I also have so much to lose. What? Is she aware that Tinder exists? But I'm so confused as to whether Tim is my soulmate or if he's my best friend. Well, Tim's definitely going home. Angie is a beautiful soul. I definitely want to take the risk with me. What's this background music? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, that's where I saw Tim before. Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, this pirate crew that won't die is hectic. Like it is right, I can really see a relationship with this girl. How long is that man's chin? Anyway, moving on. I am falling in love with Angie. I definitely feel like I've found the one. This is a meme show, isn't it? It's a month of, hey, we're going paragliding today. Oh, riding down sand dunes in a Jeep, yay. So you have all these romantic memories in your head, but as soon as you get home, you just flick on sports tonight. Get the fuck off the couch! Jesus, how much of a bogan would you have to be to think that that mossy tree was enhanced from having a couple of candles from Golo on it? There's no doubt in my mind that I want a relationship out of this. I want to be with this girl. You know what I think's most annoying about Carlin? As soon as he's on screen, there's one question that permeates your mind. Do you have a personality or not? You look so nice. You are so beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe that. We're here. Well. <laughs> Whether you was being sarcastic or not, that's why we love you, Tim. And I love so much about you. <sighs> I love everything, everything that we've had. Ugh. You can see where this is going. This girl's worked in retail. Nice compliment sandwich. Babe, I love the way that you dress the mannequins. No one does it like Yuri Brit. But I think a part of me. Don't cry. <laughs> You're not cry. Hey. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey, hey. This setting and the size of Tim makes me think that he is just one of those imaginary monsters and Angie's hugging no one. And yeah. I've cherished every moment with you. I love Carlin. If I could pick anyone to treat you like you deserve to be treated, it's him. And don't, please don't be sad. Don't be sad, please. <laughs> this guy, if I may take a page out of his book, is hectic. This has been the best experience no, ever. I no, I understand. You will not be in my life, though. I will, I will not. I'll be in your life. No, you I'll won't. be sliding at the <laughs> ends. <laughs> hey. Worst ending ever. I'm going on Twitter right now, even though this is a week late. Oh my god, Carlin. And I don't even know why I'm upset about that. She does deserve to be with Carlin. They both suck. Enjoy your life. Get off TV. Tim. Tim. I hope to God that your DMs are filled with trashy chicks from the Gold Coast. Disney's a lie, man. If there was any justice in the world, Jamie would have won. Anyway, press the like button if you agree. And just press the like button in general, because God, I feel dirty doing these videos. I need you to be complicit in this crime. And in the comments, tell us which show we should be reacting to next, because Matt and I are not willing to give up on this gravy train just yet. Please share and comment below. Come in.